What is happening, everybody? So, yeah, this is about the best I can do to get you guys a video of some of this trans-tuning stuff. I do apologize for the horrific quality of this, uh, this video, but eh, it's the best I can do. I don't have screen capturing software, and if I did, I would not use it anyway. I also apologize for that dot-looking thing. I'm going to stick it on the H right there in HP Tuners. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Apparently, this camera's starting to develop a blind spot. I don't know. Anyway, back to it. Um, so, I know that a lot of you guys are really hyped up about this trans tuning stuff. I want to get, you know, give you guys kind of a real quick overview of just the power that HP Tuner's software really has, how far along and how in depth even just the beta version of this is. And uh, if you do have HP Tuner software or you don't have, uh, or and you don't have the beta version, it's definitely worth downloading, uh, especially if you are going to be uh, really getting more in depth with the tune on your car. So let's just dive into this real quick. Um, I'm going straight into the auto shift speed because I know a lot of you guys are wondering, well, what, what is the max shift speed? Well, uh, for the most part, I'm not going to get too technical for you guys, but uh, wide open throttle, it's going to be commanding a 6200 RPM shift point. Now, with uh, predictive shifting and all of that, basically it's going to get really close to that number, but might not necessarily hit it. Basically, the idea is for it to shift on or just a little bit before that number. And by the way, that 6 to 7, that's kind of an important figure that is your one-to-one -one drive in the zf the six speed is or the sixth speed is your one-to-one -one ratio uh basically that's the point where your output shaft of the transmission is moving at the same speed as your engine is turning and so that's why you'll see these figures of 6200 and what you're looking at with all of these figures here this is all output shaft rpm that's the output shaft of the transmission so just to give you guys an idea, that's what's, uh, that's what's going on here. A lot different from what you might expect. If you're used to SCT Pro, this is going to look, it's like, it's like learning a different dialect of the same language if you're used to tuning with that. Uh, SCT Pro, a lot more intuitive, uh, uses mile per hour for uh, shift points, upshifts and downshifts. By the way, this is your upshift side over here. And then your downshift side is going to be over here on this side. Also, you know, again, all of it's in output shaft RPM. So, uh, give me an idea. Let's say for your upshifts, uh, you wanted to just throw 3% on that. This is how that would work, just to kind of give you a real quick kind of walk through. Type in 103, hit your multiplier. And by click out of that, you can see now that in pink, everything has changed and it's all been bumped up 3%. So, and that would also kick up your rev limit for the, you know, for like a dyno pool or something like that if you wanted to try to run it past 6200 RPM. Um, now, remember that in your engine tune, you can set your, your rev limiter for whatever you want, but uh, the, the computer will set your rev limit to whichever is lower, whether it's the transmission or the engine. That's what it's going to set its rev limit to. So that's the reason why you can set your rev limit higher in your engine tune and it will still only rev to 6200. So that'll give you an idea right there. Uh, but getting out of that, give you some other ideas of what this thing can do. So one of the challenges here is you've got all these different modes. You've got normal, normal performance, sports. It just keeps going on. I mean, you can just keep up with this. Uh, there's your eco mode for... SRT guys, you got a Jeep, there's your rock mode, uh, your valet mode. Valet mode's a trip, that's a lot of fun. Uh, I've got that on the SRT, and yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of fun being had in, in, uh, in valet mode. And if you've ever, if, you, if you've, maybe you've forgotten that you've got valet mode, if you've got one of the SRT cars, Scats might have one too, but anyway, throw it in valet mode and take it for a spin. Uh, it's hysterically slow non-responsive I should say so at any rate all these different uh, parameters that you that you need to change once you start going in and changing these things you've got uh, five different uh, five different parameters per setting and they run the gambit so putting a trans tune together for one of these things just in terms of speed uh, you know the actual auto shift speed 
you're looking to change at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, at least six of the parameters are going to affect you. So anyway, but here's some more powerful things about it. You've got auto shift properties. You go into some shift pressures. I always recommend using uh, a valve body and not bumping up pressures, but uh, that, that, that is an option for you. You might put a valve body in, may need to reduce pressure. So um, you've got, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Like I say, I'm not going to go too in depth on this but HP tuners did an awesome job. I cannot wait to get this thing over to Pike's performance and have Alex uh, work his magic, or hopefully he'll work his magic on this thing uh, and really get this bad boy up and rolling uh, the way it ought to. Uh, so the auto, uh, it's the, the torque converter clutch to where, you know, what locks up the torque converter uh, gives you basically direct drive. You can actually go in and disable that uh, the, the torque converter clutch per gear if you wanted to so uh, doing a lot of drag race stuff or if you've got you know, looking to get an aftermarket torque converter uh, and now you can go in and start to make some changes now torque converter uh, clutch speeds this is a little bit foreign to me on this setup on SET Pro it's pretty easy uh, but on this one there's just a lot more going on in this thing uh, than in some of the older cars, so I'm definitely playing catch up with all of this. But uh, again, I just want to give you guys an overview. Uh, you can delete torque management in the engine tune, but you can actually get in here and act, and just go crazy with a uh, with a torque management uh, program. You can dial it out, put a little bit more in. Uh, you know some torque decrease figures here for you. I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff again I don't want to wear you all out with you know details and all of that Plus, I don't want to speak out of turn I might say something that could be possibly a little bit wrong again auto shift speeds Pretty easy to play with you get direct results with that I'm gonna save the rest of it for the folks that know a little bit better than me. It's kind of funny I mean, you know, I've done this before with other other programs and other transmissions, but you know, when you're dealing with something as complex as this, you know, this is a completely different, it's not, well, it's not a completely different game. It's just, it, it's, it's, it's different. It's a different game. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's uh, not necessarily intimidating. It's just one of those types of things where I want to make sure that I understand what this thing is asking for before I start going in and, and making any changes. And really, I would just rather have Pipe Performance do this because, they're the ones that help to get this thing up and rolling anyway. So anything I do is going to suck compared to anything that they do. So at any rate, I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight. Again, I do apologize for the shite quality of this, but uh, hey, I got to work with what I got. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. And that's a wrap. Adios.